Hello everyone, welcome back again after a long day gap. I am making a video. This video, in this video, you are going to learn the differences between some words. Okay, so confusing words in an English language. So, without any delay, let's start the video. Before that, let me tell you there are so many confusing words in an English language. But today's video, I will try. Okay, inshallah, I will try to cover at least 15 sentences, 15 confusing words. Sorry, not sentences, confusing words. Okay, so let's start it. So, the first word over here that is have an appointment versus meet someone. So, how will you rectify the differences between these two? Have an appointment or meet someone will give you the same meaning but i'll give you with an extra like i'll tell you by giving the examples so here have an appointment is like a schedule and have an appointment this one sentence you're going to say with a formal meeting okay this is like formal way for example if you didn't finish your assignment and you won't go and say to your teacher that ma'am i didn't wrote my assignment so i'm not going to submit you so you'll say like this no you'll change your tone how you'll say ma'am can you please give me an opportunity so that i can submit my assignments in the next week okay so you see like uh, you notice the differences between these two sentences so here also the same thing have an appointment like it's a formal i just tell you i just gave you the example of the formal way okay so here I have an appointment with my doctor or I have an appointment with my colleague. I have an appointment with my boss. And one thing you won't say that I have an appointment with my friend. Mm -mm, no, that will be a wrong. Why? Because I told you that's a formal, formal way. It's different and informal way is also different. So for in the informal way, you will say I am meeting my friend this weekend. Right? So I am meeting my friend you won't say i have an appointment with my friend no okay got the differences now we'll move on to the next and most confusing word even today also a lot of students will get confused for this for versus since so when to use and how to use like here for is how long something lasts so just I go running every day for 10 minutes, isn't it? Okay, so I go running every day for 10 minutes. For since, when something began, okay, when the thing was began. So I have been recording this video since 10 o'clock, okay. So I have a particular schedule of this since, okay. I can mention the time, but for the four, I go running every day for 10 minutes. That's a habit, okay. So, got that out. Now, clear that out. Okay. So, next is so versus such. Here, so is an adjective. Such, adjective plus noun. Like, it make a stronger for the adjective plus noun. You didn't get confusion? <laughs> Example. Adjective, you know that adjective mean. So, Michael is so nice. So, you are nice is an adjective to the Michael. So, Michael is so nice. It, here you are using so. But what about such? You won't say Michael is so such a nice. No. So here is Michael is such a nice person. Okay. So here it's an adjective plus a noun. Okay. It's following noun plus adjective so that you are using Michael is such a nice person. Okay. Next. Fun versus funny. So how will you rectify the differences between these two fun versus funny? Don't worry. So the fun is things you enjoy. Things you enjoy like going out with, with friends is fun. Going out to watch a movie is fun. Okay. So that's called fun. Like watching festivals with phones. Like watching football is fun. Presenting like presenting English like learning new English languages each and every day is a fun. Okay. So that's called fun. And what's the meaning of funny over here? The funny is something that makes you laugh. Okay. That makes you laugh. 
just like jokes are funny comedy films are funny peoples are funny okay so like that next we'll move on to the fifth that is notify versus let someone know this is also like confusing word but don't worry so here we have an example so that you can able to understand so notify here business notify the customer so here businessman notify the customers so notify uh, another example i can give you like the prime minister might notify her ministers so notify might notify so it's a formal but for the informal here let someone know i am going to let my friend now so i am going to let my friend now so let my friend is also a notify okay next we'll have a look both either versus neither so how will you able to rectify over here example both two versus two okay not two like two out of two things you are talking about the both okay just think about the two so here i can say both tea and coffee contains caffeine so both tea and coffee contains caffeine okay either either will say for the one thing so here we are describing to the two things that is coffee and tea and for the either only one thing in the morning i drink either a tea or coffee okay in the morning i drink either a tea or coffee okay next for the neither zero okay so here you are not mentioning anything okay so for the both you are mentioning two things for either you are mentioning only one thing for neither you are not at all mentioning anything over here okay so here neither tea nor coffee contains alcohol okay so someone if you go is if someone ask you like will you have a some like if i ask you can I, like what do what would you like to have tea or coffee or you will say no neither i don't suggest neither tea or coffee i don't like it so the thing okay next history was a story mm -hmm. so this is like everyone knows that the history like if i say some story i'll say oh my god ma'am please don't narrate this history over here okay or else you'll say oh this is if i am telling you the story i'll say okay it's like an history how will you rectify it so here you'll get to know about the both are description of events right so history is also giving uh, like some information about the events and as well as the story is also giving some information about the events that you are not alive or you are not present at a situation so by the books or by the film so you are getting that point okay so for the history you will get to know past events based on fact fact okay so from the book stories we are going to learn or we are going to understand the ancient everything the example over here columbus arrived in america in 1492 okay this is a true okay then for the history how will you rectify the history history is like a it may be real or imagined okay it may be real or imagined events to entertain you okay for example in the bahubali did you imagine that uh, shivlinga that he took from his own hands no that's imagine and that's for to entertain the people so here also the same thing so columbus was attacked by t-rex dinosaurs so anyone knows about the dinosaur no so and here also the imagine and to make the people entertain so that by thinking that if i know if i watch this particular movie i'll just give you the example of a movie for example bahubali only i'll give okay so a lot of students will say why always ma'am will used to give the bahubali example but i like that movie okay now so bahubali i watched the movie but my friend didn't watch it so what i will suggest her did i'll say her go and watch no i'll narrate the story right you know this thing happens that thing that thing happened how prabhas act in that film then i'll where how i narrate the story my friend will feel curiosity to watch that movie and she'll go and she'll watch it okay but in that film we you know there are a lot of animation then and they all there was not that much true reality but it's all about imagine and to entertain the people okay got my point okay so without delaying making this video so big so again i'll go to the next that is stop to do stop doing how you will rectify this how can you able to find the differences over here so stop to do here 
stop another action to do to do is an infinitive children okay don't get confused about ing and to do so in my previous video i discussed about the gerund okay so sorry i didn't explain in that about the infinitive i'll try to do that as well so in the gerund we get to know about verb plus ing and how you can able to find either it's a gerund participle infinitive so like that so here also sorry in in, in an infinitive to do is like is composite like i stop to buy a tea so i stop to buy a tea so here to buy is gerund sorry infinitive next stop plus verb plus ing you will say ma'am it's a gerund but it's follow some rules and regulations no my dear so you have to know that so here i have stopped drinking coffee i have stopped drinking coffee here it's not mentioned ki i have stopped to drink coffee no okay now next we'll move on to the next example must or have to okay the next example next confusing word is must or have to both must and have to talk about obligations okay obligations like rules and regulation regulation and that's compulsory okay that's talk about the obligations so here must we decide to ourselves or others okay so must is it's your choice okay so for example i must exercise more often so it's your choice either you want to read or you want to waste your time it's up to you so that's called must you'll use the word must here but what about have to you'll say i have to read today so how will you rectify the differences i must read and i have to read is a little bit confusion over here i have to means the rules here you may have an example obligations others decide to us okay for example like daily used to make a video and at the end of the video or the middle of the video used to say please read 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 you have to read you can't skip your daily routine you have to read you have to read so that means i am giving you the obligations i am giving you the suggestions so you have to follow it so that's called have to got the point next next we'll move on to here to or uh, very so to went up so t o o or v e r y they don't mean the same like like i don't want too much sugar in this tea too much sugar and you'll say oh my god in this tea there is very sugar oh my god no <laughs> it don't make a sense okay so here yeah, it's uh, for the two you'll say it's too easy it's a waste of time it's a problem it's not difficult to in the sense problem okay then for the very makes an adjective or adverb stronger you must know the meaning of adjective and as well as adverb okay so the building is very old the building is very old it could be good or it could be bad it's up to you how you are using the sentences is up to the situation actually okay next we'll move on to the next example sorry confusing word dun 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 person persons people people so how will you understand it mm -hmm. don't worry for the person everyone knows that is man woman child so that's called person singular countable noun so i hope you know about the countable noun and uncountable noun okay so the single count singular countable noun we used to say person okay so simple but what about the persons hmm so you, for the persons plural countable noun and it will used to the formal way of writing not speaking children writing okay so formal way of writing the example the lift can hold a maximum of 15 persons okay this lift can hold a maximum number of 15 members sorry 15 persons so in the lift you have been seen over in the lift so they have mentioned this kind of sentences over there okay next for the people again i am telling for the persons it's only for writing in a formal way not in speaking next people everyone knows that group of people and it's a plural form of person right and it's also yes 
it's also plural countable noun okay so people you know that next for the peoples so peoples how will you rectify your so peoples is a countable plural form of people okay countable plural form of people just like a nation uh, like there are many people on the earth they are all human doubtly okay they are all human so that's called peoples they are many peoples on the earth next we'll move on to the mustn't and don't have to mm -hmm. so here mustn't and don't have to talk about like sorry so first we'll have mustn't so here in the house i mustn't wear shoes so it talks about the obligations it talks about the rules okay so just like we learn about must and ha have to so the here also mustn't is a negative way of speaking so the negative rule over here in the house i should i mustn't wear shoes so because house will get dirty right next don't have to so don't have to here we won't use any kind of obligation it's your choice okay don't have to so the choice is yours how will you know that so you don't have to do your homework if you are going like you text me and you'll ask me ma'am how could i write my assignment or i can't able to write the homework please excuse me or uh, without telling that only i'll give you the order so you don't have to write your homework yeah so it's up to you either you want to write or not okay next come back go back come back go back mm, how's that so the come back in the sense here here okay here the example for the comeback is I am at work now. Tomorrow I will come back here. So the thing is uh, it's like a cycle children. Okay. So just think there is a work and home. Okay. Right now I am at work. Okay. So I am at work now. So again I am going to I am going back to my home and again I will come back to the work. That's my daily routine. Okay. So for the students as well so you are at school you are in a school so you can't able to change your schools daily right you have to sit at one school and you have to sit at one class and you should not go here and there so that's called a cycle so here also come back i am at work now tomorrow i'll come back here what about go back go back opposite uh, obviously there go back there so here i am at work now tonight i'll go back home okay so i am at work now tonight i'll go back so you should know the differences between these two go, come back and go back okay now so i hope you understood the differences of differences of this both now we'll move on to the next 14th one that is raise and rise so rise sorry raise and rise here raise means need a direct object to move it up direct object the object should be there over here so the example over here i raised my eyebrows when i am surprised mm -hmm. okay that's called object so i raised my eyebrows when i am surprised and someone come and someone say ma'am i did my homework i am like i am reading day and night i am following whatever you are telling me so i will be surprised okay next for the rice rice here no direct object for the direct object i told about the eyebrows for the no direct object the same thing the sun raises at 8, 6 am okay so you should not confuse about the verb forms that is raise raised raised and for the rise second form is rose third form is rising okay now we'll move on to the next so i told you about the eyebrows and as well as the government plan to raise taxes so you can include so many examples so on that okay last but not least that is okay here it's not there steal or rob okay so how will you say about that steal is t-e-a-l and r-o-b r-o-b rob so the both you'll say okay both talk about a victim like both or about someone stole something or you'll say okay he's a robber Okay, and then he's still he's still on the phone. And how will you rectify the differences between these both? For the steel, talk about object. Object. Object you should know. Okay. Talk about the object. Example, somebody stole my phone. You won't say somebody robbed my phone. No. Somebody stole my phone. 
or else you'll say ma'am somebody stole my pen so think somebody you don't know about who took that okay for the rob talk about victim you know who's that person so uh, you will say the men robbed a bank last night the men robbed a bank last night mm, so that's kind of examples so here someone robbed my phone mm -mm, that's a wrong sentence someone robbed no you have to say someone robbed me and stole my phone you can say like this okay someone robbed me and stole my phone so that's it about today's video that's a confusing words so i hope you enjoyed it and you learned some new words how to and you know how to rectify the both sentences or both words so try to learn keep learning thank you